Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Craig and Shaka alongside me, Mario as well. Um, for all, coming back from international break, did any of you have a time where it was awful trying to get back to your club? Either flights were cancelled, delayed, or something like that? Shaka, I'm looking at you because you went down to Vega, to yeah, London. I, I imagine, I... did you accidentally miss any flights? Uh, no, never did. Like York did, didn't he? Got yes, I did. I was injured. Oh, you weren't involved with the naughty people. I, I wasn't involved with that. I, and the silly thing is, we played Canada. All the Canadians made it back, uh, but quite a few of, from Toronto and Tobago didn't. Right. So they couldn't, they couldn't, just couldn't get away with it. And what was Sir Alex's response, Mr. York? I think he got dropped, you know. Wow, there you are. Oh, I lucky, that's I all, lucky that's all it was. Huh? Yeah, it, it was. Yeah. It's a brave man to do it with yeah. Fergie. Yeah. Right. There's quite a few managers you might, well, I'm not saying you would. But some people might take... You can get advice. away with it. Yeah, <laughs> not him. No? No, no, no. no. Uh, Mario, did you have any adventures playing for Holland? <clears throat> yeah, I had I had a couple of adventures when I was... A, uh, for example, you being at bigger clubs than Wigan, but um, the owner of Wigan, every time I played an international game, he would make sure that I flew back as quick as I could. So oh. some of the guys, you had the big heads, for example, like Edwin van der Sar, um, so Liverpool, Manchester United, all those players, they were on a, on a plane coming back straight away. And Milan always made sure I was on that flight because he wanted me back straight away in Manchester. So that was one of the big things that I, um, like sometimes they say, like if you're on a, a so-called smaller team compared to where you are before at Chelsea, for example, they might do it for you, but it would they didn't joke about it, and they did that for me too. So they, they wanted me back as quick as I could because he he said to me, keep my team in the Premier League. That was my objective. Wow, that's cool. It's disrespectful not to come back in it. Let's be honest about it. It's all right having a, it's all right having a couple of beers after an international game or whatever you do. All right. But you're back, you, you say to your gaffer before you leave, when do you want me back? Right. Right. I don't think yeah. it's the same that anyone's avoiding coming yeah. back. It's just, no. what adventures did you have? Once, did once... Did you have a plane? I don't, well, we, we got on to the people that didn't come back. <laughs> once I, I was flying back up with, with, I think it was BWI, it was at the time, and we had to we had to stop in Barbados, which is about <laughs> 20 or 30 minutes away, and the, the plane couldn't continue. Oh, so you had to stay in Barbados, <laughs> Oh, no, the, oh, not a... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I, I just remember this. We play away in Costa Rica. Okay. It's uh, all coming back now, son, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's just this one. Just, we, we play away in flooded Costa Rica, back. and um, we we are f we flying back to, to Miami and to catch a connection on on, on to England. And um, after the games, everybody's out all night, as you okay. may or may not expect. Right. Okay. Um, so I'm sleeping on the plane, as you may or may not expect. Yes. All of a sudden, this the siren kind of goes off and it, it wakes me up. There's smoke everywhere. I'm an action. I'm sitting, I'm sitting dead loud. Me and Stu and John are sitting next to each other. Last row of the plane, I look at Stu. He is ghost white. Opens the, the, the front window thingy. We are right over the trees. Like we are right over the trees. We have to land in some, in some, uh, they come up on, on some airport in the middle of the forest in Costa Rica. Oh, wow. They said if we were over, if you we were over water, we'd have to we'd have to touch down in water. That's how bad it was. They wow. then had to. So now there's one payphone because we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. There's one payphone. Um, thankfully, was taking US US money, so we got quarters. Could call and say, listen, this is where we are because there's no phone signal where we are. And um, American Airlines had to send a plane, another plane to get us. It, it was it was bad. Were you okay getting on that next plane? You... I, I was okay getting on the next plane. Was everybody? Because you imagine everyone. A, a few people were, you know, a little bit. But at one point they were saying, "Well, yeah, we got this plane working again." And everybody uh. was like, "Hell no!" Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, every, everybody, everybody was like, "Hell no, we're not Ma getting on that." Plane. Mario, can you imagine Dennis Burkamp in that situation? Oh my God, he didn't even flew anywhere, so it would be yeah. a big, big problem. But I totally understand what you're saying. Hey. My man, I have no problem with flying. But when it gets bumpy, whew, I get a little quiet on the plane. Uh, Craig, there's been a lot of discussion about Liverpool's 12.30 kickoff. Does it change anything if these 12.30 kickoffs almost always happen following an international break? Liverpool have played at 12.30 post-international break eight more times than the next closest club. 
We had this discussion the other day. Is that when Shaka said they should play on Christmas Day then? <laughs> Don wanted uh, <laughs> <I'm> sorry, Don. <laughs> Don wanted the TV networks to feel a little sorry for Liverpool and Man City and put Luton and Palace in that time slot and really boost their uh, yep. their numbers. <laughs> Look, it's not ideal. I don't as we discussed last a few days ago, on this particular occasion, City are playing on Tuesday and Liverpool are playing yes. on Thursday. Yeah. Right. And but apparently this was scheduled for 5.30, but policing issues meant it was then moved back to 12.30. So there's a whole yeah. story around it it's, as well. I, I, yeah, no, and, and, and to Gab's point, listen, when, oh, these, oh, you know, when, these, when these TV deals are, are made, clubs so. have input. So if you that against 12.30 kickoff, say, listen, I'm going to take less money. Yep. Just don't Steve schedule me at 12.30. breaking it down yesterday, don't worry. I mean, it's... Oh, but don't tell me, was it a Liverpool angle? Uh, yes, it was very much a Liverpool angle. <laughs> Oh, just, just, just say, listen. I, I'm, I'll happily take less money than everybody else. Just don't play me at twelve thirty. <laughs> just, just say that in negotiating table, and then, and then you won't have any twelve thirties. Yep. That's never gonna go. happen, man. That's never gonna happen in the negotiation. They are going at twelve thirty. It does not matter. Yep. <laughs> They yeah, exactly. Money enough. talks again, Shaq. Oh, well. your phrase. I've, I've, I heard that somewhere. Uh, Craig, is England's <laughs> golden generation, that 2002-2006, better than the current England generation? Who was that? That was Terry, Lampard, Beckham, Owen. Well, p personally, I think they, they, had, they had better players. <laughs> but they've, they did not have better results. No. I, I think that... I don't know. It that, was quite a fractured site from what we hear. That would be my stories. that would be my assumption and analysis of that team. Have been bearing in mind most of those guys were guys that I would have played against, uh, albeit they were a little younger. Uh, I mean, we're talking. You know, we couldn't sit here and say, you know, Harry Maguire, and you know, is he's a regular for England, but we can't sit here and say, well. Pfft, one of the great yeah. defenders, yeah. but John Terry was. Yeah. Rio Ferdinand, these guys were, you know. So I don't think there's any doubt Scholes, Gerard, Lampard were more talented, in my opinion, as individuals than what they have now. But but in all fairness to Southgate, you know, what he's getting out of this team is way more than what what that generation got now. There was that. Yeah. You know, 2010, the World Cup with, Ger with Germany, uh, with Germany, sorry, when, when that ball was over the line so, and it, there was no VAR, who knows what would have happened. But there was a lot of disappointments, wasn't there, for, for a, such a talented side? I was very, very yeah. disappointed in the 2000s, Craig. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, the team that beat Scotland over the double header that, that Hutch scored at Wembley, Paul Scholl scored twice at Hamden. You know, you looked at that side that went to the Euros uh, and were abysmal, but then it, Kevin Keegan was managing at the time, and it had Shearer in the team, and it had Tony Adams in the team, and it had, had Paul Ince and, uh, and and all these guys, Maka, you know, it was an, you know they had, a, they had an amazing talent, but at this moment in time, the last three or four years, yep. Southgate's getting a tune. Yeah. Uh, Mario, the Qatar <laughs> World Cup uh, began a year ago today. What was your favourite moment? Messi lifting the trophy, Morocco's amazing semi-final run, uh, historically exciting final. I think witnessing the best final I've ever seen watching a World Cup because everything was in that final, you know, like they, they, I, I know people were living the trophies and stuff. I mean, there were not other not countries were there that I probably I'm, I'm from anyway, but seeing Messi play and Mbappe, what they did in the final was extraordinary for me because the answers of them both, I think they, they both pushed each other to a level because sometimes people don't understand to, to be the great uh, to be one of the greatest footballers ever you can only be achieved that by having great competitors and to having great competitors in an Mbappé and giving you certain answers you want to step up your game and I think that's why we saw we witnessed one of the best finals I think ever played on a, on a World Cup Jack, we were at that final yes, yeah I fell was. asleep no. no was what was the game you fell asleep? It was the third and fourth place. Third and fourth place playoff. Oh. Sent you all the way there <laughs> for, a, for a, a real cutting edge report. Not in the third and fourth place game. Who was third and fourth again? I can't remember. Croatia? Who was third and fourth again? Oh, that's a good question, Chai. Who was third and fourth? Was that, wasn't that Croatia and, and Morocco? Oh, no, you were there. Well, you were there. 
At much expense. But, but in minutes. Much expense. <laughs> Greg, the ESPN accountant. Now. Yes, I've crunched the numbers. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm beginning to think. Out of those was... three things. Oh, the final. The final. Yeah, it was yeah. brilliant. Wasn't oh, it? yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was very good. Rem did you rim the Seb? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That must have been a. That's why. That's why I needed a nap. <laughs> <laughs> was he talking to you? Was he talking about Pulisic uh, in his sleep? Yeah. He don't stop, Seb. You Seb don't stop. Oh, he, I tell you what, he did me a right till the other day. Oh, what did he do? Well, I got a phone call from uh, Ian Ladyman from the Daily Mail. Yes. He was writing a piece on Wayne Rooney. Okay. Oh. And he messaged me because he, he said, uh, he, he did start the conversation by, I know you don't follow it. Right. He said, but I need an angle on Rooney from America because I'm a, I'm a little blind and I want to write a balanced piece. And I went, so he said, I need, what was he like at DC? Oh. And I went, just the man for you. Yes. And I popped him. Right on his salads, that was perfect. Oh, and I rang Seb, he was at home doing nothing. Yep, standard. Yeah, standard. <laughs> he was at home, talking to himself, looking at himself in the mirror, all that sort of stuff. And uh, I went, very important piece, help me out, you're the man. He went, so he he did it. Perfect. Because Rooney's having a stinker, isn't he? He's taken over he's... at Birmingham and it's gone. Oh, it's all gone wrong at your old club, Mario. Yeah, well, apparently yeah, he's promised no, that the, 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 the football's going to be great, Mario. Oh, wow. You know what, Stuffy, that, that club is a great... If, if everything goes well, oh, you got the best supporters ever. But when it goes wrong, woohoo! Yeah. I think <laughs> you don't want to be in that town because they really come after you. Because they make sure that every minute you will know that you're hurting them because they're hard-working people in that city in Birmingham. Everybody says that, don't they? Well, the fans are great until so, they're not. <laughs> well, no, well, no, that's gen I think that's general fans, isn't it? I mean, we've, we've all sort of seen that movie several times but you know everyone says oh these are the best fans and then somebody else will say no these are the best fans yeah i'm like who are the worst fans i don't know who the worst fans are yeah, you obviously nobody but, wants to say that didn't they well, well define the worst fans well out of all the teams that you played for who were the supporters that you felt mm -hmm. didn't support you the most i think they all supported me well there you are then see so you're singing from the same yeah. hymn sheet but you know I think, they all could turn. So yeah, no, they, yeah, I don't so know. Mario's point, your point is invalid. No, they, they, my point's not invalid. My, point, my, my, point, invalid. my point is, they all supported <laughs> the players, and when it went badly, right. they all had to go at the players. Right, that's that's. But Mario's that's saying they're the best supporters. They can't all be the best. And that's what yeah, I'm saying. Because when they love you, I'm telling you, Greg. When I was in that stadium, my first season I had a great season there. The second <laughs> was a different type yeah. of season. And then everything turns against you. And then I played against them afterwards. It was the first time to experience a whole stadium booing against you. A good experience, but it was oh, something you, tough you, to take. You, you, you want to go and play for Celtic, mate? There we go. See what six, see what that's like with sixty thousand, Tom. Oh, sixty thousand. And then wait for you. And then wait for you in the car park. Oh, that is exactly what Birmingham did. That is oh, exactly no, what God. Birmingham did. That's a, there don't you go. Oh, oh, you want to tell me? Birmingham. Hey. You can walk down Birmingham, nobody would know you. Oh, Who cares? Oh, Birmingham. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that's, that's I mean, because you think about that. But no, my You've been telling it me it's Wigan next. It's a, okay, no, you didn't next even live in it. Wigan was so bad you didn't even live in it. <laughs> No, 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 no. Wigan was so bad I didn't live in it. But when I was at Ajax, my friend, I was 19 years old. I understand what you said, but imagine playing for a country or in, at a club in a country where they're always winning and at one point you don't win. Let me see how those fans turn. Because ah, Ajax yeah, fans so. don't like it when oh. they're not winning. What's the best thing about Wigan is the beer, isn't it? To be honest. No, the pies. The pies. The pies. In the pies. You're not being to Wigan? No. You no. don't know what you're missing? No, I don't, I don't know. I'm not being to Wigan. Uh, Mario, do you think Koeman is the right man to lead the Netherlands into the Euros? He's got them into the Euros. The only thing is what I'm now focusing on, can he get all the players fit? So he's waiting for Noah Lang. He's playing a PSV. And then uh, Memphis Depay has been out for so long. Uh, the young... You know, if he, if he can get all his talents back, because we have to remember, Koeman was the same guy that turned Holland into a great team and then uh, Van Gaal took over and then he went to Barcelona. But at the time when he left Holland, the team was really, really playing well. So at the point now, I'm saying, can he generate the same momentum again and build a team? Because they need to be good as a team. Because as individuals, 
I don't think they're going to be um, ready enough to do something. But if they want to make a big surprise, I think it's a team that can do something. Craig, since you're a Roberto Martinez fan, start bench or drop these decisions. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Listen. I'm not. No. This is. This don't is. Take it personally. This is wrong. No. No. You have to. You have to defend yourself. I'm, I just look at the, some of the decisions he's made. I don't think he's a terrible coach or anything like that. Okay. But I, I think. I think you have to question somebody. So but... wait, 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 wait. Let me then give you the options of these three decisions. Ronaldo with Portugal, Hazard with Belgium, or Mario at Wigan. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> What's it? What, what, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Which has been his best decision of his life and his worst decision of those what was, the, what was the decision with Mario? Well, well he played him. <laughs> well, he he gave played the captain's armband. He, him. he <laughs> played him. <laughs> well, I mean... I think that's even... I, I, I tell you what, that's even worse than thinking Eden Hazard can play at the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. Uh, uh, how, how do I do this? Sorry? How do I do it? Uh, however you want to. What is the worst? Worst decision? The worst decision? Yeah. Was definitely... Uh, was R R Ronaldo? Uh, Ronaldo to stay at Portugal. Hazard... No, 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 no. Hazard straight... Hazard's, yeah. uh, no, Hazard's the worst Hazard's decision... At number one. I, I think any international manager has ever made. Well, that's a bit of a statement. <laughs> <laughs> one of the worst decisions <laughs> for an elite country. Bear in mind Hazard's previous couple of years. Sure. So he's he's number one. Yes. Uh, You're taking this quite seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Mario's going to jump through well, I'm the screen. Say, <laughs> I'm going to say keeping Ronaldo is... is no, Hazard was the worst. Yes. Keeping Ronaldo around, yeah. it could work. Yeah, but the best. Making him captain at Wigan. Yeah. Good <laughs> hey, hey, I kept him in the Premier League. That's all yeah. I had to do. Yeah. Oh, I kept yeah. him in the Premier League. Mario's on the edge of the seat. Hey! Hey! All right, lads. <laughs> all right, lads, I've got this. Sing uh, Single-handedly. Leave it to me. Here leave it go. to me. Shaka, what's the weirdest things you? <laughs> what's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? I once tried octopus sushi and it felt like I was chewing on rubber bands. Ah, octopus sushi. Octopus, octopus. octopus is nice, isn't it? I had that octopus at the weekend. Sushi raw octopus. Yeah, raw octopus. Yeah, not, not raw. You had it at the weekend. Where were you? Well, I had calamari, but it had octopus in it, but it was fried. <laughs> What do you mean, where was it? I was in a restaurant. Yeah, but the, yes, but where were you that was eating popo? That was the that was the question. I was eating what? Popo is uh, octopus in Spanish, Ooh, yeah. which is often referred to because it's a Spanish dish. What a muppet! No, no, an beautiful. absolute that's muppet. I'm just you can, you don't know anything. I, mean, I, I, I know more Spanish than you. So, right. so, so drop calamari the, and octopus. You drop know. the guys. Where did you have that? Local restaurant. Which I went. One? I'm not telling you where. <laughs> I went out. Uh, Who with? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't eat, I'm not a fan of a big fan of sushi. I mean, I'll eat most things, most dishes from yeah. different <clears> various <throat> countries. I'm, I'm, I like sushi. Yeah, but I know I'll have a bit of sushi, but I couldn't. The octopus, because it is, I mean, raw yeah. octopus. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> no, it's pretty. Yeah. Raw octopus. What about you, Shank? Had snails. Oh, snails are lovely though. Snails. I don't think that's a big deal, is it? I've had it once. Think snails once. are lovely? Yeah. yeah. I only had it once. Well, it was alright. Yeah. I've never gone back. <laughs> yeah. The That's the oddest thing I think I've eaten. Uh, what, about you, what about you, Mario? What are you shaking No, I'm listening to you guys. I lived in Ren, and apparently Ren is one of the nicest places to eat scales, snails, or whatever you guys want to call it. And I never tried it because just to put like a like a, what is it, like a needle and pull it yeah. back out. Oh no, out, yeah. guys! Listen, yeah. I love sushi. Italian food, Surinamese food is number one for me. But for me to try out. That kind of stuff, it was a step ahead of me. No, I'm not developed on that level yet. Maybe one day, but it didn't come yet. Did you play for what's, Rens? What's this Did you play for Rens? What's I was a Rens, yeah. Well, they're the best fans. What's he me for? Well, they're the best fans. My friend, my friend. We, we're we not... It, it's it's okay, yeah? Because the guy that uh, owns Ren is not a bad guy. And he took care of his team really well. It was one of my best seasons I had. 
That's why oh, I'm great. Here oh. we go again. <laughs> you know oh, what? Oh, you know what? Passive aggressive, my <laughs> friend. <laughs> let me let me let me let me finish my my my, my line. You know why <laughs> I say that? Because I left England, and my my hope was just to come back to England. So that's why I said one of my best seasons because I worked oh. hard, and that's how I got back to Wigan. And guys, listen, playing in the Premier League, playing in the Premier League, you can hate me or not. But we all have tried it and we know what it gave us. Yeah, got a taste. I had a, a, I'm trying to look it up now. There's seafood at Turks and Caicos. When, when, when we used to go down there. They, oh, back in like 2010. They, they did um, conch. Oh, really? So the, out of the shell. So you could go and you could dive, you could get the conch, and then they, they, they do that um, raw. So to do that raw with just um, lime juice and so on, there's, there's a part of it that, that um, you eat fresh, straight out, straight out the shell, they pull it out with the, the thing. That was kind of odd. But that nice. Was, but very nice. Yeah. I, that was very nice. There you go. Well, there you go. Wait, 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 guys. Guys, if you eat all that stuff, you guys also eat all those animals like dog and, and all this stuff. You try that cat? And in China, no, how they eat that? Oh, you Mario, eat that oh, I think we've gone down a bit of a tangent. We've gone from seafood to a cat. How you make that jump, Mario? I've got three dogs. I don't think I've eaten them. <laughs> I mean, I think I wake up. I wa I I think I'm wake walking up. the dogs, not eating them. Barney, Barney looking good, pretty good, delicious good. today. Hey, right, we're looking at him tonight going, <laughs> <laughs> Roast that back leg. That's um, what I'm they say when you go to uh, Asia. Craig, did you watch sure any of the F1 this past weekend? Your thoughts, and would you ever attend if it's held in Las Vegas again? Uh, I, 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 yeah. It looked really cool, didn't it? It looked excellent. Yeah. Did it? Yeah, I thought. I it don't think great. you saw many fans, though. That was a thing. I, I don't want to look at fans. You know, I you want to see the whole. I want the whole shebang. Look at everything down the street. It looked fantastic. I thought. Yeah. The trouble is, I mean, it it was. Uh, I recorded it because it was the time it was on. Yeah. When I caught them all, which I think they could look at. Okay. Drivers were moaning about the track temperature. Do you want? Should we get really boring now? No, no. They were. Max Verstappen was moaning. But no, I think the it was. I, no, yeah, he moaned from start to finish. <laughs> but actually, after the race, he like, most drivers said it was an exciting race. I just think there's a few things you need to look at, but I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, so we go, we got there in the end. Yeah, it was good. Well, not for stopping winning again, not just because it's like... No, but would you go and watch it? Yeah, I mean, I would, yeah. You'd have to go VIP, you wouldn't want to be... Because there was a lot of problems, wasn't there, for the crowd? They got kicked out. Well, I went to... Uh, I've only really? been to an yeah. IndyCar race, I've never been to a Formula One race. Right. Would you so. like to go? Well, as we are the uh, as we are the uh, host broadcaster here in the US, uh, you would think there would be some avenues that we could get yeah. some uh, some you tickets. You would like to. Well, I, I, I tried oh, that. Oh, I was trying to get an answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, oh my God! Oh, well, put it yes. up. I, yes, yes. Listen, listen. I, I tried before to go two or three years ago to okay. get some leverage. Oh, you made some. Uh... I made some calls. Okay. Didn't get far. Right. And I gave up. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, so layers, <laughs> layers of... Layers Where would you of, like to go? Layer, and there was too many layers of, to go up. But if our boss, who loves Vegas, said, Craig, would you like to come with me? Only if he got me good tickets. Yes, he wouldn't want good tickets. I don't think he'd say to me, do you want to go with me? He might do. Uh, but, well, maybe no, only if, he was, only if he was feeling unwell. Uh, so Mario, did, are you, do you care drunk. about the F1? I've never been, but it was, would be something that I will be open to to uh, go one day because oh, I've never been in my life. very seriously as well. Yeah. Uh, there we go, everyone. That is it. That brings us to the end. Uh, yeah. for today. It's, a, it's a bit like golf, <laughs> right? A bit like golf? Yeah. Sometimes you've got a big golf tournament and it's better to watch it on TV. Oh, my God. I thought we were going back to this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. ESPN oh, FC back oh, with us uh, back tomorrow. Max oh. Verstappen, our special guest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God.